Hi everyone, this is Sandra. I'm an international student from Taiwan at Columbia Law School. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm taking you guys through my hectic finals week at Columbia Law School, where I'm perpetually sleep deprived and hangry. I'm also going to share with you some helpful study tips, my antidote to anxiety, and just some thoughts on happiness. So remember to stay till the end of the video. Without further ado, let's begin. I started out on my finals prep by working on the LLM writing project, which is a 25 page paper we have to submit before graduation. My research paper focused on some antitrust issues that Google and Apple are currently facing. Obviously, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but I personally find it super interesting to learn about the legal challenges that big tech is currently facing. Honestly, I'm like the world's slowest writer. Sometimes I would be stuck in the same sentence for over 10 minutes, and other times I would just run out of words. And whenever that happens, I would just look out the window. No, it does not pump extra words into my paper, but it always makes me feel a tad better. Today I focused on my corporation studies, just because I was going to be tested heavily on that subject. So I got the outline, my own notes, and of course, the casebook. Now it's lunch. 我觉得美国的网购退货其实都还蛮方便的Okay, I don't know if you need this tip, but it works perfectly for me. Because I have a super tiny appetite, I could barely finish a regular Chipotle bowl even when I'm really hungry. So what I usually do is I would order extra rice, cheese, beans, and lettuces at Chipotle, all without extra cost. And that way, I could stretch one meal into two.
，点心准备好了，饮料准备好了，笔电也准备好了，我们继续奋斗吧，加油！想说今天是星期一，新的一个礼拜的开始，所以我做了很丰盛的早餐。我烤了吐司，上面呢一个是抹超市买的凤梨抹酱，然后另外一个呢，想要来个罪恶感的 Nutella 巧克力酱。谁要去踩一下前面这堆叶子？<笑>这边呢，就是纽约的 Upper West Side 街上西区，大概是从罗格大宿舍出来之后往南走的一个区域。这边就是一个很单纯的安静住宅区，所以没有什么商业活动。像这条路上啊，根本人家上面都没有住，全部都是住宅。然后这边的住宅呢，也跟 Midtown 那边的那种摩天大厦很不一样，全部都是百年以上的。有时候会觉得，就是没有什么商业活动，有点无聊。是出来散散步的话还不错，因为这边的房子都盖得蛮漂亮的。不知道大家知不知道一个冷知识，就是呢，在纽约。如果你的房子里面是有自己一台洗衣机，就会被大家当做你是在住豪宅等级的。我也不知道为什么是这样，但是这就是纽约房子的常态。那我住的呢，就是学生宿舍啦，所以我是没有自己的洗衣机的。当我要洗衣服的时候，我就必须要把这些衣服们全部提到我们这栋大楼的地下室，然后那边有公共的洗衣机。
温只有四度，真的蛮勇敢的们。我现在大腿是唯一没有盖两层的地方，觉得有点冷冷的了。I'm not gonna lie, on day six, I was feeling completely overwhelmed because I was nowhere near the finish line on any of the tasks that I set out to do. Law school is hard, no matter if you're a JD or an LLM, it's very demanding. And the pressure usually comes within yourself, the desire to achieve more and do better at what you do. Don't get me wrong though, I still think schoolwork is a lot more manageable than actual work coming from someone who has worked as a corporate lawyer back home. But when you're a lawyer, all you do is work on someone else's business and sometimes you would feel like, nah, work is never gonna be perfect, but whatever. Whereas in school, your job is to work on your knowledge and present yourself well. And so you would inevitably tie your identity with your grades, I guess. Hence the pressure. So while I continued to work, I just wanted to share some helpful study tips for when you're under a lot of pressure. I think for me, the antidote to anxiety is really a two-step process, compartmentalization and time blocking. Because feelings and emotions could take away the productivity from me, so I would try to shove them into a small box and not to open it during the day. And then I would try to set a time frame in which I have to complete a certain task because think Parkinson's law, work expands to fill the time allotted to its completion. I really don't want to spend extra time which comes with extra stress to do something that I could complete in half the time. Okay, this is it. 
Today is officially the last day of school in this fall semester, and I had a pretty busy schedule: three classes back to back. To my pleasant surprise, my corporation's professor, who was usually a very stoic kind of person, decided to impart his wisdom on life, which I think it's pretty worth sharing. So here goes Professor Goshen's thoughts on happiness. He said that achievements are a moving target, and if you keep chasing them, you're doomed to live your life pursuing happiness instead of actually being happy. And being happy, it's very simple and cheap. It's in fact for free. Enjoy the sunset. Enjoy a smile of a kid. Enjoy a joke at your expense. That's it. After corporations, I headed to the seminar where I had to give the oral presentation on my writing project. I was super nervous before I entered the seminar room. Thankfully, the presentation went okay, and turned out my paper got a pretty good feedback from the professor. All right, so this sums up my finals week at Columbia Law School. Thank you guys for watching. I try to be very transparent and candid about my daily life. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.